And with income inequality in the US widening, the lack of affordable housing is getting worse. Karina Huber reports. Groundbreaking on a new complex in New York City has begun. It will have 5,000 housing units, 60% of which will be affordable to middle-income families. New York City's new mayor, Bill de Blasio, wants more buildings like this. He recently unveiled a plan to build or preserve more than 200,000 low- and middle-income units during the next 10 years. The estimated cost? $41 billion, which will be funded by taxpayers and private investors. It is ambitious. We're proud that it's ambitious. Yes, it will take everything we've got, but that's what's needed to address an affordability crisis that we've never seen the likes of before. A new report shows that between 2000 and 2012, median rents in New York City rose 75 percent, while medium real income fell by nearly 5 percent. People making between twenty and forty thousand dollars a year now spend forty-one percent of their income on housing. Mayor de Blasio has repeatedly referred to New York City as a tale of two cities, referring to the large income gap between the haves and have-nots. While a new study shows that America's largest cities also have the greatest income disparity. Topping that list are Atlanta, followed by San Francisco, then Miami. But income disparity is a global problem, and building affordable housing is increasingly becoming a priority for governments around the world. China recently announced it would set aside $19 billion this year to speed up construction of affordable housing. The government says the China Development Bank will set up a new division to issue bonds to support new low-cost homes. While each city is unique, Karen Kuby at the Institute for Public Architecture says creating a community around low-income housing units should be a universal priority. It can't just be about housing. We really need to connect the housing to daycares, to schools, to good transit, to good parks. And it's all, it's all a big, it's, we need to look at the big picture. Kuby says a more holistic approach to building affordable housing is key to making a city more livable and harmonious.